Hey everybody, I'm RJ with Brew Chatter. And I'm Josh. Today we're gonna talk about setting up your fermentation bucket for both fermentation and bottling. Yeah, what you're gonna need to do this is you're gonna need a quarter drill or a cordless drill and a unibit or a step bit. And if you're setting up a bottling bucket, you're gonna need a spigot. And if you're setting up a fermenter, you're gonna need an airlock and a grommet or like a number two stopper or whatever stopper you like. You can use any of them, but the grommet seems to work pretty well for us. Absolutely. So if you're setting up a bottling bucket, you wanna get this spigot as close to the bottom as you can. And really if you're, if you're setting up a bottling bucket, you should have to turn the spigot so that you can set it down flat. The, the trick here is, or the idea here is, that you wanna get as much of your wort bottled as possible, so you wanna get that spigot as close to the bottom of the bucket as you can and still get the, the back nut on. Now, if you're setting up a fermenter, what you're really setting up is either a tasting valve or a transfer valve, because sometimes people prefer to transfer via the spigot versus using an auto siphon. So the trick here is to set it so it's just flush or just above flush so that you can get above that yeast cake when you go to open it and transfer it. Yes, and one quick tip with these spigots, uh, anytime you're bottling or fermenting in here with the spigot, you gotta make sure the spigot is clean because there's a lot of places for bacteria to hide in here. You, got, you can pull it apart and clean it, hmm. and you got threads on here you can clean. Just make sure the spigot is clean before you put any kind of wort in there uh, before fermentation or bottling. So it's a good idea, just be sure you're clean, clean it up really good, and then sanitize it. Absolutely. So now it's time to drill things. We're gonna start with the lid. And for the lid, you wanna drill a 25 64 inch hole and that's what your, your grommet's gonna go in. Now the way these grommets are set up is it's got a little break right in the middle. So you drill that in and it's easy enough to put it in. And you want it to be a little tight, that's why we say 25 64 because you want that airlock to go in and kind of expand it to the edges and that's what's really gonna keep that, that CO2 coming out and keep the oxygen from coming in. Yeah, then on brew day, when you go to put your airlock through that grommet, uh, just make sure you got a little bit of sanitizer all over the airlock so it'll go through that grommet a lot easier if it's a little wet. If you try putting it in there dry, you're probably just gonna put the, push the grommet through the lid and it's just gonna not work out very well. Then you gotta take it back out and it just gets in the way of your drinking. It's gonna be a mess. Lubrication is key. Yes. So for your spigot, decide if you're gonna use this as a bottling bucket or as a fermenter or as both. You can set the spigot low and use it as a bottling bucket and still transfer via your auto siphon. So you can kind of have the best of both worlds. But for your spigot, you're gonna drill a one inch hole and you wanna drill it, like I said, just low enough to where you can get that back nut on. So it's as easy as that. Just drill in the two holes and you can set up a bottling bucket or a fermenter. It's that easy. You can find all of this at our website at brewchatter.com. The bucket, the spigot, the grommet, the airlock, everything. And of course, orders over $59 ship free. Brew on. Brew on.